you go into a neighborhood, you, by definition, are forming a partnership with the community. Um, we can't exist without not only the people who live here, the people who do business here, but the community organizations, and we're just like totally intertwined. You know, we're nourished by the neighborhood, not just in terms of people buying pizza. We're nourished by the culture in the neighborhood, and we're here to provide nourishment to the neighborhood. Working with community organizations, arts groups, social service agencies, it's not like the icing on the cake for us. It's like, you know, it's the cake. And, you know, I just always feel like we can't give enough. When PS122 asked me to produce the benefit, it was to honor Lucy and The Shining Star had not been picked. And there was a short list and very important to me was Phil Hartman's name on that list. And we discussed all the people and he quickly, there was no short list anymore, it quickly became about Phil. So what I did first was email him and say, Phil, it's really important, I need to talk to you. Um, we're doing this benefit for PS122, it's honoring Lucy. I have a really important question to ask you. At 2 a.m. I get an email back from Phil that said, yes, yes, whatever you need, yes. Just tell me what you need, yes. And I called them that next morning and they said, and that's exactly why what I'm about to tell you is what you have to accept. We want you to be our shining star because before you even knew what I was asking, you said, yes, yes, yes. And I don't really know, I can count on one finger how many people do that. And that's this guy.